Let's start today with follow up from last week's State of the Union address. So much has happened in the last couple of days. Lunatic Republican Katie Britt, who delivered an unhinged and bizarrely theatrical Handmaid's Tale esque rebuttal to Joe Biden's State of the Union, has made a critical admission indicating that she made a major mistake during that rebuttal, which is that the dramatic story of sexual assault that she told did not actually happen while Biden was president and has nothing whatsoever to do with President Joe Biden or evaluating the job he is doing on any issue at all. It's just a random story about something that happened years before Joe Biden was president. We go to an interview from Fox News Sunday with Republican Senator Katie Britt. She was doing everything she could seemingly to hold back tears and has no choice but to concede. Listen, it was a story happened under Joe Biden. What difference does it make? Yikes. Yikes there. Um, but let's talk about your yes. response to this the union address, which has gotten a lot of headlines. Um, one of the fans was former President Trump. He loved it. He said it was um, compassionate and caring. But you've had a lot of critics out there. And I want to talk about specifically one anecdote that I've heard you tell before. It is a horrific story of a sex trafficking uh, survivor. Um, Nobody is questioning that the story happened, that she is actually who she is, says she is, and, and that this happened. The question is about the timing and the implication of you telling the story. Um, the New York Times has this. Right. None of this happened during President Biden's administration, but that didn't stop the first-term senator from strongly implying that the president could have somehow prevented it from happening, using rhetoric that seemed calibrated to inflame public fears about immigration. Did you mean to give the impression that this horrible story happened on President Biden? watch. No, Shannon, look, I very specifically said this is what President Biden did during his first 100 days. Minutes after coming into office, he stopped all deportations, he halted construction of the border wall, and he said, I am going to give amnesty to millions. Those types of things uh, act as a magnet to have more and more people here. I then remember the question is, did you tell a story that had nothing to do with Biden. In his first 100 days, he had 94 executive actions. And those executive actions didn't just um, create the crisis, they invited it. I then contrasted it with my first 100 days. Shannon, I went to the border three times in my first 100 days in office. Her words mean nothing. This is a habitual liar. She, wh her, what do her first 100 days have to do? with whether she implied that something that happened decades ago happened under Joe Biden. Nothing. And when I was there, I asked for the real unvarnished truth. I wanted to sit down. I asked the Border Patrol agents. I asked the people there. I asked the victims, previous victims of drug cartels. Tell me what it's like. Tell me what we need to do. Tell me what we need to know. The truth. And this has zero to do, zero to do with that anecdote. So the Fox host goes back to her credit and says, but to be clear, the story has nothing to do with Joe Biden, right? OK, but but to be clear, the story that you relate is not something that's happened under the Biden administration, that particular person. Um, well, I very, I very clearly said I spoke to a woman who told me about when she was trafficked when she was 12. So I didn't say uh, a teenager. I didn't say a young woman, a, a grown woman, a woman when she was trafficked when she was 12. And so listening to her story, she is a victim's right advocate. OK, so what she is saying is fine. I included this story in a long list of the tragedies that relate to the Biden border policy. But I said I spoke to a woman to whom this happened when she was 12. So anyone should know that a woman means at least 18, 12, 18 minus 12, six, six. Blah, 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 blah. OK, so no, Biden couldn't have been president. But of course, the reason she included the story was to link it to Joe Biden's border policy. The reason she brought it up was to convince people that Biden is bad because this is something that happened to the woman 20 years ago. She's still lying even here. And by the way, the whole story of this woman was trafficked by a drug cartel. It all has nothing to do with the border specifically. 
it is a much bigger issue and it also has nothing to do with Joe Biden. So she lies with an ease that should really scare all of us. But now let's go to Joe Biden's absolutely perfect response to this insane reaction uh, from Brit. We all know that person who loves taking photos, but they have hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands in the case of some folks I know of pictures just wasting away on their phone. You can put them to good use with a unique, stylish digital picture frame from Aura Frames. I got these Aura Frames for my parents and preloaded them with pictures of the baby and my parents love it. And I can add more pictures from wherever I am and they they pop up on their frames. It's so easy to see why Aura has been named the number one digital picture frame by Wired and by The New York Times. My favorite part is you can use a QR code on the outside of the box to load it with pictures so you can still hand off the gift brand new in the box, but it's already preloaded with the pictures. Then you and the recipient can add pictures via the app. No cables or USB. It's all over Wi Fi, super convenient, and it comes with unlimited storage. Load as many pictures as you want. For a limited time, my audience gets $20 off their best selling frame. Go to AuraFrames.com and use code PACMAN to save on the perfect gift. The link and code are down below. Terms and conditions apply.